can you come hold this light for me? The lighting looks much better with like this light versus no light. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, I can't hear the sounds of you vaping. Are my tracks showing? Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a what I eat in a day. You can't do that. You can't do Why? that because you're gonna mess me up. <laughs> this is really focused towards a low FODMAP slash gut cleansing what I eat in a day. If you guys have been following my fitness Instagram, which is Tori Sterling Fitness, you know that I've been struggling with bloating lately and like not digestion but just being so bloated no matter what I did it just wouldn't go away like whether I slept like 12 hours or no matter how clean I ate no matter what I did nothing was helping it so I sort of began to think that it was maybe IBS or I don't know what I was thinking that it was but I actually went and did acupuncture and that helped it so I have a feeling it was more of a stress bloat but because of my acupuncture and all of that stuff, I just decided to go very easy on my gut and um, I've been following a low FODMAP kind of guide. Now I'm not strict with it or anything, but I definitely eat warm foods. I've only had one smoothie in like two weeks and I'm like missing all my smoothies. And I've also gone back to eating eggs and chicken just because a paleo based diet is much easier on my gut than a plant-based diet is. I don't know, like everyone's always gonna have an opinion on what I eat, but I'm just eating that again. Um, I was never plant, I never like switched back to plant-based or switched back to vegan or anything like that. I always just ate whatever I felt like and for a little bit it felt like plant-based, but I'm not that anymore. I'm also not paleo, I just eat more meat and greens and I'm on a low FODMAP kind of diet. This video is also sponsored by Audible, so thank you Audible for sponsoring this video. Something else that I do want to point out before I get into this video is that I eat a lot. Like when I start eating, I don't stop. I snack a lot, but also with that, I don't eat proper meals. Like I don't always eat lunch. I typically always have breakfast and I mostly always have dinner, but like lunch, I never really have lunch. I always plan out my meals and I plan like I'm going to have this for breakfast and this for lunch and a snack and dinner, but it never actually ends up eating like that or like looking like that. So I showed you guys what a real day of my life of eating is like. I've just recorded what I've been eating today. And it's a pretty regular day. It's nothing new for me. So it's as real as it gets. Woo! All right, so without any further ado, let's get on to the video. No, don't go away except from an outro. So, good morning everybody. It is 7.52 in the morning, as you guys can tell. I'm actually on my way headed out to a meeting, but I always like to have a little bit of hot lemon water to sip on in the morning. So I add a little bit of cool water to my thermos and then hot water just so that I can actually drink it instead of having it stay super, super hot in my thermal all day. Um, and then I'm just gonna squeeze in some fresh lemon. And this is just a really good way to detoxify your body and kind of get your digestion moving in the morning. Nice, warm foods are good for the gut. So this is a great way that I like to kickstart my metabolism and my digestion. So I'm off to my meeting. But then when I got back home, I was a little hungry, but I didn't want to eat a full breakfast yet. I was just a little like peckish, you know what I mean? I already worked out this morning. I worked out at 5.30 in the morning and then I got home at 7, got ready, went to my meeting. So um, this wasn't like ready for a full breakfast yet. I've been kind of weird with my eating. I haven't really been eating until later in the day, but I did make this banana bread and I have the recipe to it on my fitness Instagram if you guys want to go check that out. Um, and I'm just putting a little bit of Netso butter on it. This is like their fuel nut butter and I'm so obsessed with it. It tastes so freaking good. And yeah, this was like a perfect little morning snack. I always like to have a little bit of food in my belly before I go in and make my matcha just because matcha can make people a little bit nauseous if you don't have any food in your system prior. So this is just my matcha recipe. It is um, about a teaspoon or so of matcha powder, a little squirt of honey. I add a generous amount of coconut butter. I'd say it ends up to be one to two tablespoons of coconut butter. This is what makes it super frothy. In cooking, there tends to be a lot of downtime, waiting for rice to boil, waiting for your water to heat, whatever it might be. I always find myself 
on Instagram or texting someone or listening to an audiobook. And because this video is sponsored by Audible, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about it. So audiobooks are great for helping be a better you, whether you wanna feel healthier, get motivated, or even just learn something new. The one that I'm currently reading right now, I actually mentioned it in my Christmas haul. I loved it so much that I actually got it to an audiobook so I could listen to it all the time. It's for a healthier you and it's called The Power of Habit and I'm obsessed with it. I really, really do recommend it. So Audible is the leading provider of audiobooks and Audible content includes an unmatched selection of audiobooks and other audio products. Users can sign up as an Audible listener which gives them book credits each month for a low monthly fee. And you guys would download your choice and you can access them on your phone, Android, tablet, iPod, or whatever other device you might have. And it just helps you listen to more books by switching seamlessly through devices, picking up where you left off. Also, if you're worried that you're gonna pick a book and you don't end up liking it, you can exchange it, no questions asked. The books are yours to keep, so with Audible, you can go back and re-listen to any time, even if you do cancel your membership, which is super cool. So you can start with a 30-day free trial and your first audiobook is free. All you have to do is go to audible.com slash Tori Sterling and browse the unmatched selection of audio programs. Download a title free and start listening. It's really that easy. All you have to do is go to audible.com slash Tori Sterling, or you can text Tori Sterling to 500-500 to get started. So as you can tell, the water boiled, and now I'm just transferring it into a mug, and look how frothy and oh, delicious this matcha looks. It is amazing. I love matcha. If you guys haven't tried it, try out this recipe and let me know what you guys think. So now that that is done, moving on. Um, after my matcha, I actually had another meeting, so I went out and then I was out for a few hours running errands, so now it's about 1.30 by the time I was actually eating breakfast, and I, I guess it's sort of like intermittent fasting, even though I was eating a little bit this morning and having a lot of liquids, but I'm making oatmeal and scrambled eggs, so in my scrambled eggs, I'm going to have some red pepper. I'm obsessed with red bell pepper. Um, this breakfast, I'm just going to say, isn't the most pretty looking breakfast, but like I said, I'm really trying to cleanse my gut so it's not really about how pretty it looks it's more about what the food is and like the benefits of it so um, I always follow a low FODMAP guide now everyone seems to have a little variation to it I just have been working with what I feel works best for me and that's all cooked foods so I am just putting in a little bit of bell pepper and then I'm slicing up some ham this like red bell pepper and ham is like the most delicious combo ever in eggs. I'm so obsessed with it. It almost makes it taste cheesy. I know that sounds weird, but just try it and then you might like see what I'm talking about. So I transfer these both into a pan and uh, I just saute them. I just have a little bit of cooking spray in the pan and that's all. So I just jumble that around. Then I am just boiling some almond milk over here for oatmeal. I love oatmeal. I love these carbs in the morning. It's seriously like what I look forward to every single day. I'm oatmeal obsessed. So these are the Red Mill, or sorry, Bob's Red Mill rolled oats. I love them. They are by far the chewiest and tastiest oats ever. So after those are boiling away, I just throw in some eggs into the pan. Sometimes I'll do egg whites and other days I'll use yolks. Today I just did the whole egg because why not? So I did two eggs and I just scrambled that around. I kind of do it simultaneously. They do end up being ready at about the same time, which is really nice, but it really is just a lot of waiting around. So it's a really good time to listen to an audiobook or put a movie on or do whatever you want to do just to pass some time. I love cooking. It's very therapeutic. Like I said, this isn't going to look the prettiest pre presentation wise, but it gets the job done and it fills me up. So eggs on a plate, oatmeal in a bowl. Oh my God. Like looking at this makes me want oatmeal, even though I already had some today. Um, um, then I'm going to add in a little bit of peanut butter again. This is the nutso butter. I'm on my very last drop of it. Actually, after this, I threw it out because I was empty with it. It was all done. But um, I just stir this around. It gives it just a little bit of flavor. With low FODMAP diet, you do have to be worried about cashew nuts especially. And there is cashew butter in this specific butter. So... I mean, technically, I shouldn't be eating it, but whatever. This is breakfast, and it was amazing. Now, you guys actually might be very surprised by this, but it's about, well, actually, okay, so I made this before breakfast. I just inserted it after breakfast. So I made this at about 1.15 or so. Right when I got home from all my errands, I started to make my dinner. 
So this is earlier in the day, this is in the afternoon. So I'm making teriyaki chicken slow cooker in a crock pot. Super, super simple. It is the quickest and most delicious meal if you're on the go. So use about, here's what, here's what the recipe is. Half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of honey, a quarter cup of um, rice, Vinegar. I also have this all in my um, fitness Instagram. I posted it a few days ago if you guys want to check it out. A little bit of minced garlic. I don't really measure. I just sort of throw it in. Pepper. And you're also going to chop up an onion and throw that in there. Like I said, this is the most easy and delicious meal ever. It takes like no effort on your part and it's so easy and it's pretty much done for you. It's amazing, especially if you're on the go all day or really busy like I am, this is the best. So mix this sauce all around. This is the flavor for the chicken, okay? This is your marinade. You are going to love this and you're gonna love me after you guys try this recipe. Now you gotta plug in your crock pot. I got mine at Target, I think, and I don't think it was that much money. Like. Could have been more than $40. Then you just throw in some chicken. I think these are chicken breasts. I'm not really sure. They're pretty small. So I threw in about six or seven of them. I think it was around six of them I threw in there. So you just put them in the crock pot. Then you pour your marinade or your sauce that you just made over top of it. Seriously, that is it. That's all you have to do. It takes about 10 minutes prep time. Stir it all around with a little fork, and then you just place it into your crock pot, and you can set it on a setting, either high or low. I've done it both ways. Um, the high, I had it cook for six hours so that I could eat around 7.30, because I put this in around 1.15, um, but I also have done the eight hour, and they honestly tasted the same. Now, fast forward to the nighttime. I actually didn't have lunch today because I ate breakfast so late. That breakfast kept me so full. Um, right here is around six o'clock. No, sorry, it was around 6.45 because I wanted to eat dinner around 7.30. So I really wasn't hungry at all during the day, which is so crazy of me. But my breakfast kept me really full and because I ate so late in the day that I just wasn't really hungry. So I had breakfast and then lunch. Or sorry, breakfast and then dinner. Um, but I'm just boiling up some rice. The rice that I showed here is my all-time favorite rice. It's so chewy and just delicious. So I'm just boiling that up on the stove, checking in on my chicken that's cooking away. It's doing a great job. When my rice boils, I'm then going to turn it down to simmer. And I'm going to set a timer for 45 minutes. And this is just time for the rice to cook on up. So it's cooking for 45 minutes. Um, once it... I just done the 45 minutes, I turn it down to, I take it off of heat and I put the lid on it and then I let it set for about 10 minutes or so. So that's where I am right now. It's setting for 10 minutes. It's done the 45 minutes. That's when I start my green beans. So these are just pre-cut um, and washed green beans from Giant and then I just cook them with a little bit of water in a pot. And yeah, green beans are also pretty easy to cook. I have it on about low to medium heat, checking in on the chicken, and this is when it is ready. So it's switched off to the warm, so it's done cooking, now it's just keeping it nice and heated. But as you guys can see, it literally just falls apart, and it's so terrible, and just pull, up, I mean, not terrible, it's like tearable. Does that make sense? You can just pull it right apart. So after that is established, I'm going to go in and add a little bit of vegan butter to the rice and to the green beans. I just love adding some rice, I mean some butter to my rice, and then I'm just covering it back up once again. Adding a little bit of butter to the green beans once the green beans are all done, cooking up in a pan or a pot. This is not a pan, it's a pot. So once that is done, I move on to my plate presentation, which is not the prettiest, not going to lie, but you know what? My gut is happy when I have stuff like, when I have meals like this. So we have some rice, we got some green beans, and we have chicken. Very easy on the gut, very, very warm. I obviously made Matt a plate as well. He eats a little bit more than me, so his plate's always a little bit bigger than mine. Add a little bit of salt to finish it off, and this was the recipe. If you guys want more recipes like this, check out my Instagram for my fitness account. It has all that stuff on there. But yeah, that was my dinner. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave it in the comments down below if you guys want more what I eat in a day's. I think that they're really fun. So be sure to follow my Instagram, Tori Sterling, and my fitness Instagram, Tori Sterling Fitness. I post a lot of my recipes on there. If you guys like this stuff, check out that and you guys can see more of what I'm eating. Hope you guys all enjoyed this and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. Peace, love, Illuminati. Yep.
when she gets new hair extensions. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. What are you doing? What are you doing? For what? Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, I know your shoulders messed up. How bad is surgery? It? It's my chest. You can't get surgery on that. Right? Separate. Please. 